The President, please be seated. Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The Chamber is now back in session. We continue to hear the testimony of this witness. La déposition du témoin va continuer. I would like now to give the floor again to Judge Yasakon to continue his questions to the witness. Au juge Yasakon pour lui permettre de Judge poursuivre. Judge Yasakon, thank you, Mr. President. Judge Yasakon, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The teaching Question. of how to interrogate prisoners, where was des it held, de and how many people attended the training? A été mené, um, dans quel lieu et combien de personnes Response. ont animé la formation For interrogation training, Réponse. Pour it was banned, it was held at the interrogation aux interrogatoires. location, it was done one-on-one, -on -one. it means I was sitting while the person was interrogating the prisoner. Et, uh, il une formation individuelle. Did you study interrogation techniques from this accused? Question. Est-ce que uh, l'enseignement a été prodigué par l'accusé? I did not study it uh, with him. Je I studied the interrogation technique de, with Gat, who was the unit chief. Question. Did you know Question. who que transferred you to the interrogation team and who assigned Gat to teach you how to interrogate? d'interrogatoire et qui avait assigné CAC Response. à euh, Regarding vous the transfer the assignment, les techniques. I did not know. Réponse. I was Pour only told de that I would be assigned to work under CAC to interrogate the prisoners. Je ne sais pas qui était à l'origine de cela. Je, je, tout ce que je savais, c'était que CAC était la personne qui avait été assignée pour être la personne qui question um, when you studied interrogation techniques from Gat, question did Gat tell you the method of how to interrogate regarding the CIA the KGB or the Vietnamese spies une méthode d'interrogatoire um, similaire à for the interrogation technique study yes the Chinois. word CIA KGB or the Labour Party eh bien, les termes CIA, those terms KGB, were taught Parti travailliste, um, Chinois, question eh bien, ces what termes did they teach you regarding the CIA question que vous a-t-on appris uh, s'agissant de la CIA réponse, réponse. For CIA, we were taught that they were the secret agents mm, nous of the America, que, and that's uh, how we were taught at the time. Question, what about the KGB? Américain. Response, KGB question, was the federal KGB? federation of Réponse. former Russian agents. Là, il s'agissait des agents de l'ancienne Union soviétique. Question. What about Question. the Vietnamese uh, Labour Party? Du Parti What travailliste type of vietnamien. Was it? Response. Regarding the Vietnamese Réponse. Labour Party, they were the Vietnamese agents. Vietnamien, il s'agissait des agents vietnamiens. Question. Did you know Question. who actually determined if a person is an enemy? Pouvez déterminer si une personne était oui ou non un ennemi. Response. Regarding this role, I did not know who would make such a decision. Savait pas qui prenait une telle décision. But we were taught that whoever that was arrested and brought to that location, they were. They were the enemy, si they were either the CIA, KGB, or the Vietnamese spies. Des ennemis, Question, soit des when Kat taught you how to interrogate, du KGB, ou were there des, any uh, lessons Vietnamien. or any books Question, which were used as samples? Pour les interrogatoires, utilisons des manuels, des 
utiliser tous les manuels, les techniques, les livres. Réponse. En ce qui concerne l'étude des techniques d'interrogatoire, il n'y avait pas de livre, il n'y avait pas de manuel. C'était une question de pratique, c'est-à-dire que j'étais là, assis, et j'observais les interrogatoires se dérouler. Et comment on interrogeait The first questions that you were taught question. for asking the, the prisoner, what was it? À, que vous a appris à poser à un Response. The first question to ask Réponse. is la question the biography of the prisoner. La biographie du, and du later détenu. on, Après, two questions, the reasons for the arrest by the party. De l'arrestation par le parti. Questions. Question. Uh, what questions were you taught to ask next? Ensuite, on vous apprenait à poser quelles Response. questions? So after Réponse. questioning about the reasons Après that they were arrested by Anka, then it depended on the responses of the prisoners, if they confessed or not, si if they said they si did not confess, then we would si stress on that point. Eh bien, on insistait sur ce point. Questions. Were you asked question. to ask the Vous questions to the prisoner to implicate anybody? De poser des questions aux détenus en, en lui demandant d'impliquer ou de mettre en cause regarding whether we were asked personnes. to ask the prisoners Réponse. to implicate anybody? No. S'agissant de cette question qu'on nous demande, qu nous demande de poser, eh bien, non. On the responses of the prisoners. du prisonnier. Questions. Question. The purpose of interrogating a prisoner. What was the actual purpose Quel for the interrogation? L'objectif. Response. Des interrogatoires des prisonniers. The purpose of the Réponse. interrogation was to extract the response était from the prisoner who was a traitor. And then their network. Et l'objectif était de d'identifier leur réseau. Question: Did you know who Question. was the chief of the interrogation unit, and how many teams were there in the interrogation unit? Au sein de cette uh, unité d'interrogatoire, y avait-il? I did not know who Réponse, was the chief of the interrogation unit. De des However, Ho and Pon et and Pan Chan, they were the Chan senior cadres in the interrogation unit. Les plus haut placés dans l'unité des interrogateurs. I did not know how many teams there were pas combien il y avait in the interrogation unit. Dans cette unité d'interrogateur. I only knew my team. I did not know about the rest of the teams within the interrogation unit. Question, what team were you in in the interrogation unit and who was your team chairman? Response. Réponse. First, I was with Noon. He was the my interrogation team Noon. chief. C'était le chef de l'interrogatoire. Puis, puis après, il y a eu Hain. And after that, après, I was with Nyan. J'étais avec Nyan. With Nan. I was with Nan until Nyan, Phnom Penh fell. Jusqu'à la chute de Phnom Penh. Question. Were interrogators assigned to various teams based on the types of the prisoners, for example, the most important prisoners or the female prisoners? Response. 
C'est s'agissait de détenus de sexe masculin ou féminin. There were exemple, different teams assigned to different types of uh, prisoners. Chan and Ho, for example, Ho, par they were exemple, in charge of uh, interrogating important prisoners. Prisonniers importants. Or those uh, foreigners or ou Westerners or the female cadres. Ou les cadres de sexe féminin. My team would only interrogate ordinary prisoners or less important de prisoners. Deux de prisonniers de moindre importance ou de prisonniers ordinaires. Question. Question. In the interrogation unit, were there any assignments? Of the teams, for example, the hot team, the cold team, or the tubing team. De, um, Est-ce qu'il y avait Response. par exemple l'équipe de masse de tubing teams? I did not know en ce qui concerne l'équipe froide, chaude, de masse de and I was still studying the interrogation techniques, so I did not know the details of the interrogation unit. Yet. De formation des techniques. Et par conséquent, Question. je n'avais pas encore connaissance des différentes unités. Various Question. teams, for example, hot, cold, and tubing within the interrogation um, unit. Équipe, à savoir, l'équipe utilisant la méthode chaude, la méthode froide, la méthode de mastication dans I responded, unité. I did not know Réponse, whether je there were such dire, je teams. Je ne savais pas s'il y avait ou non uh, de telles équipes. Questions. Nan, who you said was your Selon ce que vous avez dit, team chief, Nan était did you know which équipe? team that he belonged to? À quelle équipe il appartenait? Response. Response. I did not know if he belonged to any je particular si team. I only knew that he was part of the interrogation unit. Je savais qu'il faisait partie de l'unité des interrogateurs. Question. Where were the prisoners taken to be interrogated? And what about the foreigners? Where were they interrogated? Est-ce que les prisonniers étrangers ont été interrogés? Response: The prisoners would be taken to be interrogated. Réponse: On emmenait les prisonniers à des locations interrogatoires. In the front office, à un endroit and they would be interrogated by different interrogators. Devant, et il y avait plusieurs interrogateurs. Question. Do you mean at the front office, the, the building just devant, at the front le of the S21 compound? À l'avant du complexe de S21? Response, yes. Réponse, oui. It was at the front of the S21 compound. It was outside la, the barbed wire fence, but inside the zinc fence. Question, did you ever zinc. see the accused interrogate any prisoner? Question, est-ce que vous avez vu l'accusé interroger des prisonniers? Response. Réponse. I never saw him interrogate any prisoner. Non, je ne l'ai jamais vu interroger des prisonniers. Question. When you were interrogating Question. a prisoner, did Quand the accused ever come in and join or observe while you were interrogating? Pour vous observer en train de procéder à interrogatoire. Response. Réponse. The accused never non, come into the room while I was interrogating. I only saw him or met him while I was at the dining hall or at the political training school. Où était dispensée l'éducation politique.
made a decision for you to interrogate any particular prisoners. And was the order done in writing or it's done verbally? Response. The order for me to interrogate a prisoner was given to me in writing by my team chief from CAC or from Nong or Heng at various times. So I was given that letter and then I would go and take that prisoner to be integrated. Question, who wrote on that letter or who authorized it? Response, I did not know who write whose writing was on that letter. I only look at the name on that letter, then I would go and take that prisoner for the interrogation. Question. In the annotation on that piece of paper, did you see any signature? Response, yes, there was a signature from my team chief. Question. Did your team chief have the authority to sign on that document, on that paper? Response. I did not know, but I was given that piece of document. So I went to take the prisoner based on a name in that document. Question. You talk about the signature. Whose signature was that? The signature of the person who annotated or authorized a prisoner to be interviewed or to be integrated? Response. The the letter was given to me by my team chief, and there was no, actually no name of the person who wrote or annotated on that letter. Question, you said you got that written letter. So whom did you give that letter to? Response. After I got the letter with the name of the prisoner for the interrogation, then I would give the letter to the guard who got it inside the room. Then the guard would bring the prisoner out for me to be interrogated. Questioned. If that letter that letter was not yet uh, given to the registrar or the record keeper. How could you know that which room the prisoner was detained? Si cette lettre ne passait pas par la documentation ou le, la personne chargée du registre d'écrou, comment saviez-vous que c'était le prisoner? I did not know which room the prisoner was detained, but when I was given the letter, the letter, the letter also contained the name of the person and the room where the prisoner was detained. Question. Did you ever take that letter to Suti, who was in charge of the record keeping, and later on, Suti would annotate, it, would annotate on the paper the room and the building of such a prisoner? Response. I did not know the process 
I was given a piece of paper with the name of the prisoner, the serial number of the prisoner, and the room number where the prisoner was detained, and the building number. Question. When you got the letter, whom did you hand the letter in? And after you received the prisoner, what happened next? Response. When I received the letter, I went there, and there was a book. On the table, I recorded the name of the prisoner, the room number, and then I would write my name and I sign it that I take this prisoner to be interrogated. And then the guard would take the prisoner and bring it to me, bring him to me. Question: When the guard brought the prisoner to you. What, was, what state was the prisoner in? Was the prisoner blindfolded and handcuffed? Response. When the prisoner was brought to me, the prisoner was handcuffed and blindfolded. Questioned. Well, the prisoner who was walked to the interrogation location, did you walk the prisoner or the guard walked the prisoner? Response. I myself walked the prisoner from the detention room into the interrogation room where I would interrogate that, that person. Question. How far was it Question. from the uh, deti Quelle detention room and your interrogation room? De détention et la salle Response. Réponse. It was like 20 to 30 meters away from the barbed wire fence. À 20 ou 30 mètres de l'enceinte en fil de fer. So it was outside the barbed wire fence. À l'extérieur de l'enceinte en fil de fer barbelé. Question. After you brought the prisoner to the interrogation room, what happened next? Et que se passait-il après que vous ayez amené le prisonnier à After the prisoner was taken to the interrogation room, une fois que le prisonnier était he would be shackled, then on l'entravait. I would remove the tight, the hand tight, and the blindfold. Question. How many people involved in the interrogation? Question. Combien de personnes participent à l'interrogatoire Réponse. Only one interrogator un per room. Interrogator For example, par if I was interrogating exemple, a prisoner, si I would be alone. Je le seul. And after I finish interrogating the person, then Ho, Ho would come and inquire about the result of the interrogation, whether the prisoner responded or not. Est-ce que la personne interrogée avait répondu ou non Questions. Question. How was the confession of the prisoner recorded? Comment les aveux du prisonnier étaient-ils consignés? Response. Réponse. The confession was handwritten or typed soit or photocopied. Écrit à la main, soit tapé à la machine, soit photocopié. Question. When you finish interrogating a prisoner, who do you, whom did you have to report to? Response. Response. After an interrogation completed, I would give the documents to the team chief, or Nom, or Sei, or Nand. Question. Question. Did you ever report 
the completion of your interrogations directly to the accused? Response. I never reported directly to him. It had to go through the network. Question. Question. Who decided if an interrogation was complete? Response. The decision whether it was complete or not, depending on the confession of the prisoner. Question. Question. If the person whom you had to report to said that the interrogation was not yet complete, was there any annotation from that person back to you? Response. I never received any annotation or documents asking me to continue the interrogation. If the accused, for example, Deutsch had any query regarding any interrogation, he would use his telephone to make inquiries to the interrogators themselves. Question. So it means that after you reported the confession of the prisoners to the upper echelon, and if it was unclear, did the accused himself ever call you directly to make further interrogation? Response, yes. It happened. He used to telephone me that the interrogation of this particular prisoner was not yet complete or not yet appropriate. Question, did he telephone you directly? Response, yes, he telephoned me directly. Question, did you or could you recognize his voice at the time? Response, yes, I recognize his voice very clearly. Question. Question. After being interrogated, where would the detainees be sent to? Après Were they kept in S21? Response. Réponse. I don't know about this because I was asked to interrogate detainees, then I would only know to that limit. And when I was asked to stand guard, then I knew only I had to guard the detainees. Question, did you ever interrogate female detainees? Response, no, I didn't. Question, were all the detainees interrogated or were there any exceptions? Response. When I was still on guard, I worked as a guard, there were some detainees who left alone without being interrogated and who later on disappeared or removed. Question. Who interrogated the Vietnamese prisoners at war? Regarding the prisoner of wars, I had uh, no idea. I, I learned that uh, the bodyguards of Pon or Chan would take those people to Pon or Chan to have them interrogated. Question, what about uh, the Western Westerners who were detained there? Response, I don't know 
anything else about the other foreigners. Sur, euh, I only learned that uh, Pon and Chan's bon bodyguards Chan would take them to be interrogated. Question, can you tell the court Question. how much time was needed to interrogate each detainee? Response. Réponse. It is not, uh, it was not a regular time set. Uh, sometimes a detainee would uh, take, uh, uh, to interrogate a detainee would take like one week or so. Some detainees did not read or write, or they did not uh, want to respond to interrogation, so it would take longer in such incidents. Question, do you still remember how many detainees had you interrogated until the day you left S21? Response. Response. Personally, I interrogated very few of them, three or four, because I had just been trained and I was on training. And uh, when I was under uh, supervision of CAC, when I was taught to interrogate, there were about 10 people who I interrogated under his watch. The, the question, do you remember how uh, the names of the detainees you interrogated response it has been long long time ago i'm afraid uh, i don't remember any of them question question you were allowed to question or to interrogate detainees. Were you allowed, or can I conclude that uh, interrogators were allowed to torture detainees, or you had to seek permission first before you could do so? Response. Violence against any detainees would not be allowed uh, to uh, ordinary interrogators like me. We could uh, insult uh, the detainees or threaten uh, them, but we could not uh, physically abuse them. Question, who instructed you to do that? Response. It was the chief of the unit uh, or the group, uh, Non and Nan, who would do that. Question. In cases, for example, when detainees si, did exemple, not fully give the full confession and uh, tortures were subjected, uh, so who si would order such tortures practices? Response. Regarding those detainees who did not respond uh, or not completely respond to the interrogation, it was Ho who personally paid a visit uh, to us and ordered us to uh, grab a branch of tree. Question. So Ho asked you to pick uh, the branch of the guava trees to beat uh, the detainees. Is that correct? Response. Uh, yes, it is correct, Your Honor. Ho did ask me to pick the stick to beat detainees.
question. Question. Were you ever instructed by Dutch to use tortures against any detainees? De Duc de torturer un détenu. Response. Dutch never Duc ever instructed or ordered me to use tortures or violence against uh, any detainee. But uh, during the study session, we would uh, be instructed uh, of how we could do in the interrogation session, but not in the interrogation pour, pour session pour in cell that they came. So, Dans question, so did Deutsch uh, teach question. at that location? Bien qui, uh, la formation? Response. Réponse. Deutsch uh, gave, uh, taught us, but the, he did Donc, not instruct uh, cette formation, us to use tortures, but he did want us to do or to play politics, to précis, il nous de uh, make sure that we obtain confessions. And we were asked les pour, uh, to les a refrain us from Et leading the enemies to give their confession. And, uh, de ne pas but uh, I was not uh, told to use tortures by him. Mais ne pas, il pas donné Most instruction. often, it was Hor who accompanied or, me in the interrogation sessions and who inflicted a torture onto the detainees. Qui, uh, Question, what kind of tortures were used at S21 toward uh, detainees? Response, when I was Réponse. on training to interrogate Pendant detainees la, with Ka, Ka would uh, torture Ka the detainees with a branch of uh, the guava tree and that he used de a, a kind of device to uh, hurt uh, the ears of the detainee. And that's what I saw. Uh, pour, uh, Question, did you ever see or were you Question. ever instructed uh, to use plastic bag or to pull out nails from the detainees? Response. Réponse. Regarding the plastic bag being cowered on any detainee or water oui, would be dropped onto the nose into the nostrils of detainee i don't think i have non, i remember having seen or having been instructed uh, non, regarding this matter de ce style. question have you ever seen any instruments of tortures des, des, des including instruments the frame in which uh, the detainee would be hoisted to the air and plunged into the chair, water chair. On hissé des détenus, on Response. Dans les Réponse. I did not ever see this kind of practice. Non, je n'ai pas assisté à ce genre de choses. Question. Question. Did you ever see any kind of violence or torture being inflicted on any female detainee? Contre, uh, des femmes détenues. Response. Réponse. Detainees were taken to be interrogated elsewhere and it was far from being seen. Question. Did you ever Question. see any children who would enfants? accompany their parents, and where would they be taken to? Et où ces enfants? Response. Réponse. I have no idea, or I don't remember having je seen any rien. children cas, being brought along with their parents. En même temps que leurs parents. Question. 
question. H had you ever seen any tortures uh, being used uh, on the Westerners? Contre les Occidentaux. Response. Réponse. No, I didn't, uh, because I never non. witnessed any interrogation session of those people. À des interrogatoires d'Occidentaux. Question. question. What about the Vietnamese prisoners of war? Did you ever witness such uh, tortures being inflicted onto them? Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. Non. Question. Question. Do you know when tortures were pra used uh, during interrogation section? What was the purpose of using such torture? Si la torture était utilisée au cours d'interrogatoire, c'était à quelle fin? During Réponse. the interrogation, of course, uh, we would like uh, to obtain confession. We want to know the networks, the strings des, des of uh, the associates of the uh, detainee. De le réseau et les personnes auxquelles euh, l'intéressé était associé. Question. Did you ever witness any tortures uh, received by the staff member of S21? contre des membres du personnel de S21. Response. I never saw any Réponse, member non, of the staff at S21 being interrogated. We never even saw their face because they would be covered in blankets, let alone having seen them being tortured. Question. So who walked uh, the staff member of S21 while they were being covered uh, by blankets? Response. They were the bodyguards of Chan and Bon and Hor who would be walking them. Question. You said uh, when staff member of S21 were covered with blanket and walked uh, by the bodyguards of Chan or Ho or Pon, so where would they be taken to be interrogated? Response. They were taken to be interrogated in the front of the building which, which was to the south of the place where I worked. There was a street crossing and to the other side of the road and there were some houses along that road where those uh, detainees would be interrogated. Question. Did Question. you ever see any detainee's blood uh, was being drawn? De détenus dont on prélevait le sang. Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. No. Question. Question. Had you ever heard from your colleagues? Avez-vous jamais entendu parler de cela um, par le biais de vos collègues? No, I hadn't Réponse. because friends uh, did not share this with me. No, parce que il ne partageait pas ce type d'information avec moi. Question. Question. Did you ever see any detainee uh, who's uh, was uh, cut for the anatomy purposes? Don, uh, qui faisait l'objet d'expériences médicales? No, I didn't. Pour des études anatomiques. Réponse non. Question. Question. Did you ever see any detainees being released after they were interrogated? Response. Réponse. 
No, I didn't. No. I never knew of it or I never je witnessed it. Tel cas, ou en tout cas, je n'en ai jamais été le témoin. Question. If you never Question. saw si any release of such detainees, did you know de, what happened uh, to them later on? De, uh, de Response. Réponse. I have no idea because idée. after the interrogations les they would be removed and placed in a insulated uh, truck and I did not know camions. where they would be sent to. That's all what I learned about les it. C'est tout ce que je savais. Question. Question. Did you ever note that detainees would be killed at S21-2? I never Réponse. saw them being je killed at S21, or I never knew that they would be killed there. Question. Do Question. you know Chung Aik? Avez-vous entendu parler de Chung Aik? Response. When I worked at the military techni technical Réponse. schools, Lorsque I was assigned to build or to dig canals there, mm, so I knew it uh, back then. Donc, Now, dans ce it que je is the place Chung where the Maintenant, remains of the uh, people who were executed there uh, are kept, uh, and I paid the last uh, visit to that location. Et, et je me suis rendu, um, Question. Dans ce lieu. During the time when you had uh, worked at that location, Par did you learn from your Question. friends? that the detainees would be taken there to be exterminated? Response, I didn't know where they would be taken to. Réponse, non. Je ne savais pas où on les emmenait. Question. According to your accounts of the event, you had worked at S21 for a significant S21 period of time. Une de uh, temps do you remember how many medics long. were there at uh, the compound? Combien il y avait de membres de l'équipe médicale Response. qui travaillaient dans le, au sein du complexe de bâtiments? There Réponse. were about il four to five of them. De quatre They were assigned to treat detainees. Étaient affectés aux soins des détenus. Question. Do Question. you remember some of their names? De certains And who de was the last uh, et vous uh, medic vous standing at S21? Le dernier membre de l'équipe médicale à S21. Response. Réponse. I only know Medic Seung, who left Seun, Phnom Penh with me, and uh, we met moi. at a later et date. Nous, nous I only know this person very well. Question, were there any female medics Question, at S21? Response, there weren't Réponse. no female detainees because I observed that there were only male medics. Question, were there any male or child medics? Response, I did not see child medics. There were teenagers uh, who were medics. Question, do you remember those medics? Question, vous rappelez-vous? As I told already, says the witness, I remember only Seung. Comme je vous oh, dit, je I me still remember another one, ah, Jan. Autre, Chan. So two of them, Donc, uh, je and je I don't know de the rest. Et je ne pas le, uh, rest. And we worked in a different unit, uh, that's why unité. we nous did not know one another. Nous 
Euh, Question. Pas. Did you know Medic Sek Don? Est-ce que vous connaissiez Sek Don? Response. Membre de l'équipe médicale. Réponse. I know him. Je le connais. Question. What Question. was the role of Sekdon back then at S21? Sekdon à l'époque à S21. Response. Réponse. He was perhaps a medic. Uh, I only recognized uh, his face. I did not Je remember what kind of work Je he performed at S21 because I did not pay great attention to his work performance. Question, do you remember that you saw Question, this que vous person que vous at S21? Response. Réponse. I know Sek Don very well because je we were in the same très bien training parce que nous étions and dans la même formation. I did not only know the, what he worked as at S21, but I know him. Ce faisait S21, mais je savais, je le connaissais. He has no further question. The president judges of the bench. Would you wish to put further questions to the witness? Euh, Madame, Monsieur les juges, souhaitez-vous poser d'autres questions aux témoins? The president, judge, uh, le président, Levin, monsieur le juge Levin, je vous en prie. Oui, bonsoir, monsieur le témoin. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous indiquer si dans les salles où vous procédiez à des interrogatoires, où vous avez assisté à des interrogatoires, il y avait des instructions affichées au mur Response. Réponse. I don't uh, remember having Je seen any such instruction, but I may not uh, wish to respond to that question. I'm sorry. Je ne souhaite pas répondre à cette question. Peut-être, Monsieur le Président, pour euh, faciliter la compréhension de cette question, il serait possible de euh, présenter à l'écran euh, le euh, document qui figure sous le numéro de RN suivant, en Khmer, 00 18 14 48. The President, the AV unit is instructed to put uh, this document as read out by Judge Levenge on the screen. The president, Mr. Sekdon, says the president, could you please look at these writings in the document? It shows that this writing was made and was written on the white board and placed in the interrogation room. So as the interrogator, did you ever see such regulations during the time when you last interrogated the detainees? The president, uh, once again, 
Did you ever see any kind of writing on the whiteboard, for example, Santibal Security Police Regulations? One, you must answer according to my questions. Do not turn them away. Two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts of this and that. Il est interdit de commenter, d'évoquer ceci ou cela dans l'intention de cacher et de discuter. You are strictly prohibited to contest me. Il vous est formellement interdit de contester ce que je dis, etc. Et donc, jusqu'au point numéro 9. Have you ever, or did you ever see any kind of writing on the whiteboard, for example, Santibal Security Police Regulations? Number one, you must answer according to my questions. Do not turn them away. Two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Number two, do not try to hide the facts by making pretexts. Placé dans la salle où vous interrogez les détenus. Réponse. À l'époque, il n'y avait pas de board avec such règles de régulation qui ont été écrites sur le board. Le président de l'AV Unit est maintenant instructé de remuer ces vues de la vue de retirer ce qui était affiché à l'écran. Alors, si vous n'avez pas vu de telles instructions, est-ce que on vous les a indiquées, ne serait-ce que oralement Est-ce que dans la formation que vous avez reçue, il était question d'instructions de cet ordre-là Response. Réponse. I was only instructed uh, while I was interrogating detainees, mm. so on it was the instruction on the job, and that uh, there was no such uh, written regulations uh, being uh, placed in the court uh, in the uh, interrogation room, and uh, I had to only learn from the other interrogators how detainees would be interrogated. Alors, s'agissant des techniques, tout à l'heure, vous avez parlé d'une un, machine, si j'ai bien compris, que l'on mettait aux oreilles. À quoi servait cette machine et quel était son effet Response. Réponse. Regarding the shocking with electricity. Il s'agissait de choquer le détenu à l'électricité. It was like using a dynamo of a bicycle to produce the electricity to shock the prisoner. Que l'on trouve sur des vélos et il s'agissait de choquer, d'appliquer des chocs électriques aux prisonniers. Avez-vous connu parmi le personnel de euh, S21, un dénommé Koch Sros. Réponse. I myself did not know Koch Sros. I did not hear such a name. Je n'ai pas entendu parler d'un tel nom. Vous n'avez jamais rencontré ni à Takmao, ni à la police judiciaire, ni à S21. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Alors, Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à ce témoin, mais je souhaiterais savoir quelle est la, quelle est la position de l'accusé, s'il reconnaît lui-même ce témoin, s'il reconnaît comme étant quelqu'un qui faisait partie du personnel de S21 et qui a procédé à des interrogatoires.
the accused Gianna regarding this witness I am hesitated to confirm firstly the reasons for me to believe that he was a former SM1 staff there were many reasons c'est un ancien membre du personnel et bien il y a plusieurs raisons qui I would like to inform the chamber that I had a sentimental feeling towards the Kampong Trolite Le people because I also married a woman from Kampong Trolite Le and also recruited a lot of combatants from Kampong Trolite Le. This witness would fit into the criterion for me to select and recruit in the entire testimony regarding the S21 location in Phnom Penh, it sounds plausible if we only consider the evidence which does not provide any inculpatory evidence against me. However, I have a position, a firm position, that for anyone who is not an SMA staff, to involve that person, to involve him in S21, because as we all know, S21 is a criminal mechanism. Secondly, I did not want anyone who was not under my direct subordination to be part of this mechanism. So I would like to raise my observations and my suspicions regarding certain points in his testimony. I did not want any militia districts to be part of my staff. I only want youths who did not actually involve in any unit or group yet to be recruited to be part of my staff. And this person, this Lak Mien, caused me hesitation to decide what type of person he was. Whether he actually came to work at S21, I am still uncertain on this matter. And a second issue, he talked about his role to guard the prisoners in Dakmar. And what he said was contradictory to the situation at Dakmar at the time. The third point, talking about the police in Phnom Penh, which was called the PJ. And the Khmer Rouge would say the PS. I, only the one who used those terminology with the Cohen West Kenyan judges and before this chamber, that is the headquarters, the police headquarters in Phnom Penh. And I think it's, it was inappropriate for him to use such exact terminology of threats to refer to the PJ location. Finally, he talked about me telephoning him to provide instructions. This is very strange. When he interrogated a person named Ben Zamon, and I tried to research based on the list of S21, but I could not find such a name. And the combination of all these points make me hesitate to confirm my position. And I will try to look through the list again to find his name, that is the name of the interrogators at S21. Or if he can't recall the names of the prisoners whom he interrogated and that he provided his signature on those confessions, that will provide documentary evidence to prove his position. And this is my observation, John. Thank you. Mr. Lachmind, Mr. Lachmind, your testimony and your responses to Judge Yasakorn regarding the common dining halls used by the S21 staff 
Was there only one location of a dining hall or were there many? Response. Scanning the dining hall at as many ones, there were two. One was for the guard unit and one was for the interrogation unit. For the economic section and for the prisoners, they had their own separate unit location. The president, the dining hall for the guest unit, where was it located or which street was it located? Can you elaborate further regarding the common dining hall or the kitchen for the guest unit and the interrogation unit? Response. The dining hall for the guard units originally was behind the fence of the Genocidal Museum. And for the interrogation unit, it was to the right of the museum. It was along the street to the right, leading towards the main road. So as I said, uh, the kitchen hall for the guard unit, it was toward the back and to the west. Question. So they were uh, distant Question. apart. How far was it uh, from the true location? That is, the dining hall for the guard unit and for the interrogation unit? Response. When I was with the guard unit, the dining hall was far. I think it was like 200 meters away. Later on, I think about the late 1978, then the guard unit was relocated. So one was to the west. One was to the north of the street and one to the south of the street. The interrogation unit dining hall was to the south of the street. Question. Comparing the location of the present tool line location, where was the dining hall for the S21 staff and cadres? Response. It was to the south of the museum. It was at the corner, at the south corner. Question. Question. Did you recognize or know the location where the prisoners were brought in and handed over to another group in order to receive them? Response. The location where the prisoners were received were usually at the front of the main entrance. Most of the, most of the time, prisoners were transported, were transported and they were dropped off at the main entrance of the compound. Question. You also said regarding the interrogation location, which was at the outside of the barbed wire fence, but it was inside the zinc fence. The question is the zinc fence. To the east of the compound, where was it located? Response. The zinc fence which was used to surround the location at the junction of all the streets.
And it was 100 meters from the barbed fire, fire fence. Question. To the east, Question. did they have it popped or installed near the sewage canal along that street? Did you know that? Response. Towards the east. Réponse. One street was not fenced, but the smaller streets were erected with the zinc fence along the sewage canal, that is, immediately to the west of the sewage canal. Question. So it means that the fence was installed, but there was enough path for people to walk through? La clôture est installée, Response, the path was quite large. It's almost uh, filled a street. Um, réponse, le passage était suffisamment large. Cela Questions. Uh, représentait la largeur to the rue. south, where was Question. the zinc fence erected? La clôture en zinc, où était-elle Response, érigée? to the south, réponse. the zinc fence was erected, erected along the street. Était Érigé le long de la rue. Questions. Question. Can you specify further to the south which location where the zinc fence was erected? Parler du sud, le long de quel endroit cette clôture a-t-elle été érigée? Réponse. Cette clôture a été érigée. Uh, the street adjacent to Dual Dumbo. La rue qui se trouve à côté de La rue qui est adjacent Question, à what Tampon. about uh, to the north? Question, so to the north of the S21, where was the zinc fence erected? Où est-ce que la clôture en zinc était dirigée? Jusqu'où elle est-elle? I was not sure Réponse where the zinc fence was erected to the north sûr. because at that time I did Car not go into that area. I would say the zinc fence was erected 100 meters away from the barbed wire fence. Question. When you was assigned, question, lorsque l'on vous a to work at Takmao at the PJ and later on at the security office of S21. Did you ever have any permission to leave those locations in order to travel outside? For example, to visit your home village Vous rendre à votre Response. village où vous venez. Réponse. I was never allowed to leave S21 unit. unit. I was like a prisoner there. J étais, j étais comme un the staff prisonnier. working there were never Le allowed to leave qui because the work there was secretive and we were instructed not to leave outside. Otherwise, we would break the secrecy of the nature of the work. So we actually never left outside the parameter of the zinc fence. Par conséquent, nous n'étions pas autorisés à sortir du param du périmètre extérieur de la clôture en zinc. President, thank you, Mr. Lightmin. Le président, merci, Monsieur Lightmin. Today, you have been put questions by the chamber, and other parties have not yet questioned you. So the chamber needs you to be here again tomorrow morning to continue your testimony. And the chamber would like to thank you for coming to the chamber and to provide a testimony to the chamber.
court officer. Can you provide necessary arrangement for the witness to return to his residence? Please work in cooperation with the WISU. And bring him back tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. Security guards. Take the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back before 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. The hearing is now adjourned.